Hey Life Groups, thank you so much for gathering today. This past weekend, we started a brand new series called Target Practice. And in this series, we're gonna be talking about five important things that we need to practice in order to hit the mark in our faith. So in other words, we're gonna be doing a five week checkup or a review of extremely important topics, many of which you'll be familiar with. Now, in Matthew 28, we see Jesus talking to his disciples and he's, he's giving them the Great Commission. And he's telling them to go make more disciples and, and to baptize them and to teach them to obey all that Jesus had said. So that then begs the question, what is a disciple? A disciple is a true follower of Jesus. And in order to be a disciple, you have to do what Jesus says. And we learned that disciples have to have discipline. Being a disciple takes effort and intentionality. We see in scripture that the 12 disciples struggled with this, much like I think you and I might. Jesus said that the first shall be last, but the disciples constantly jockeyed for position. Jesus wanted them to pray before he was crucified, but the disciples fell asleep. Jesus told them to have courage, but the disciples ran away when he was arrested. They were simply a ragtag group of Jews who lacked discipline, but... The discipline came about three years after their journey started. You see, discipline comes when you choose to do hard things. And whether it's getting in shape or knocking out debt or growing in your faith, there are specific things that we have to do and be disciplined in. When it comes to spiritual disciplines, Dallas Willard suggests that we start with solitude, silence, worship, and study. And he contends that if we practice those things faithfully, the others will follow. Others like prayer, time with Christians, tithing, serving others, sharing your faith, fasting, confession, and more. So this past weekend, we focused on studying God's Word. So why should we study the Bible in the first place? First, studying the Word of God brings wisdom. Secondly, Scripture is given by God as a gift. Next, the Bible is incredibly useful, and lastly, the Bible equips us. So, what would happen if we look for answers in our Bible like we do on Google? What would happen if, instead of distracting yourself with your phone, you distracted yourself with God's Word? How would your life be different? Because the truth is, we can't be a disciple without being disciplined. And what if we carve time out for God's Word? I guarantee you that if you do this for a month, you'll notice an incredible difference. And we guarantee you that your relationship with God will vastly improve. Enjoy your discussion today.